Hello fellow travelers and welcome to the River Arts District, a vibrant community of artists and makers located in the heart of Asheville, North Carolina. I'm Christy and this is Happily Forever's After Travels and here's what you need to know if you want to visit the River Arts District in Asheville, North Carolina. We're going to take a walk around the area, we're going to talk about where it is, all there is to do, and where to stay. So come on, let's go! If you appreciate the info I share with you today, please hit that like button, let me know, and leave a comment to introduce yourself and say hi. Leave a message about your thoughts on the River Arts District or let me know if you have any questions you'd like to have answered in a future video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I post more videos like this one. Now on to the River Arts District. Once an area of warehouses, workshops, tanneries, and depots, now you'll find over 200 artists working in a variety of mediums, from pottery and jewelry to painting and glass blowing. The River Arts District is located just a few minutes from downtown Asheville and is home to a variety of galleries, studios, and shops. One of the most popular mediums in the district is pottery, with several studios offering classes and workshops for beginners and advanced potters alike. If you're looking for unique jewelry, you'll find plenty of options in the River Arts District, from handcrafted silver and gold to beaded and woven pieces. There's something for everyone. Glass blowing is another popular medium in the district where you can find artists working on their shops. Purchase one of their works to take home as a souvenir, or try your hand at glass blowing yourself by taking a class. And of course, painting is well represented in the River Arts District, with artists working in a variety of styles and genres. One of my favorites is the Jonas Gerard Studio. Although the artist passed away in 2020, you can still view and purchase his works on display. Watch the brilliant way he worked with color and played with light. You can also see his workspace complete with drums he would play and a microphone that he would use to start singing as an inspiration hit while he worked on his paintings. You'll also find plenty of public art in the district, including murals, sculptures, and installations. The mural. Go left. So the mural, walk a little bit and look up. There's the Jonas mural. You're free to meander through the multitude of corridors and halls that were once warehouses, packing plants, and depots, and more. They've now been converted into studios for local artists. You can find unique items like this homegrown homemade plant paper and pottery that incorporates horsehair in the making process. You can watch artists while they work on their craft, purchase items, and even converse with the artist to learn more about their craft. Please put a heart on it because it's okay. loved arts. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. How many pieces did that take? This is not a lot of pieces, but um, it's just the design I kind of just drew up. But it's this one piece here is, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like 16 pieces. Wow. Take a class like glass fusing, bonsai lessons, jewelry making workshops, printmaking workshops, and painting, just to name a few. You can even book a walking tour of the River Arts District or book an afternoon with an artist with a private gallery tour. I'll leave a link for those down in the description below in case you're interested in learning more. And when you need a break from all the art, there's plenty of places to grab a bite to eat or a cup of coffee. I highly suggest 12 Bone Smokehouse, a popular restaurant that has been frequented by famous folks like former President Obama. In addition to having amazing food with a southern flair, they also have souvenirs so you can take home their tasty sauces and rubs, and I even purchased their cookbook so I could attempt to recreate their mouth-watering food at home. And let's not forget the river. The French Broad River runs right through the district and there's plenty of opportunities for kayaking, tubing, and other water activities. 
for. Simply just take a stroll. If you're looking for a place to stay that's near the River Arts District, you can stay at the Country Inn and Suites River Arts District, which is 0.6 miles from the River Arts District, or about an eight minute drive. Downtown is another great location. The Doubletree by Hilton or Hotel Indigo are going to be the closest at about 0.8 miles from the River Arts District, and that will be only about a five to six minute drive. Currently, there's an Embassy Suites that's being built right across the street from Doubletree and is scheduled to open at the end of 2023. Cambria is also just a few blocks further away from this area and is also a great lodging choice. Quite honestly, anywhere downtown is great, but the next closest with the easiest traffic routes would be Aloft Downtown Asheville, which is one of the most pet-friendly hotels in the area. And then there's the Foundry Hotel and Restoration Asheville, which are a bit more upscale. I'll provide links for those in the description so that you can check them out. So if you're looking for a unique and vibrant community of artists and makers and love to browse unique works of art, be sure to check out the River Arts District in Asheville, North Carolina. So what did you think? I'd love to know if the River Arts District is on your list of places to see when visiting Asheville. Tell me in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who'd love to know more about this amazing art scene in Asheville. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. Happy travels!